Son las primeras imágenes a todo color del universo lejano, tomadas con la cámara infrarroja del telescopio espacial James Webb de la NASA. Esta toma muestra un cúmulo de galaxias como lucía hace 4.600 millones de años. La foto está compuesta de muchas imágenes en diferentes longitudes de onda con un total de 12,5 horas de exposición. Para una persona que observa desde la Tierra, este campo profundo parecerá del tamaño de un grano de arena sostenido a la distancia del brazo extendido. Aquí, la nebulosa Carina, situada a 7600 años luz de la Tierra donde nacen las estrellas. Y esta es la nebulosa del Anillo Sur. Aquí, el Quinteto de Stefan, a 290 millones de años luz de nuestro planeta en la constelación de Pegaso. Ese grupo compacto de galaxias fue descubierto en 1877. Según la NASA, las imágenes del espacio profundo enfocadas nítidamente por el telescopio web permitirán a la comunidad científica ir conociendo durante las próximas dos décadas más sobre la masa, la edad, la historia y la composición de estas galaxias. El telescopio web fue lanzado el 25 de diciembre de 2021 tras más de 20 años de construcción. También ha captado, a través de la luz infrarroja, invisible al ojo humano, el planeta gaseoso gigante WASP-96b. Este exoplaneta se encuentra a 1150 años luz de la Tierra, tiene menos de la mitad de la masa de Júpiter y completa una órbita alrededor de su estrella cada 3,4 días. Michael Roa, CNN, Atlanta. Chiokaku is professor of theoretical physics at the City University of New York. It's great to have you with us this morning. It's a really cool image, but put it in perspective for us. What are we seeing there? Why is this preview image and what we're hoping to learn, why is this so significant? Well, you know, even children ask the question, Mommy, Daddy, where is the farthest star? Well, you're looking at a photograph now of some of the farthest stars that we can see with a space telescope 100 times more powerful than the aging Hubble Space Telescope. This is spectacular. It's a time machine. The Webb Space Telescope allows us to peer back through time right after the Big Bang itself. Some of the stars in this picture date back 13 billion years into the past, giving us a whole new way of looking at the universe. So as we look back 13 billion years, that's pretty far back, what, are, what do we learn from that? Well, we begin to understand the expanding universe, the fact that about 13.8 billion years ago, there was this cosmic explosion that gave birth to everything we see around us. So in other words, the Webb Space Telescope is a time machine which gives us the life history of stars and the universe itself. We can see photographs of stars being born stars aging and stars eventually dying. And we see in some sense our own fate. We see our own fate when our solar system was just like the solar systems we see here. And just remember that every dot, every dot in this photograph is a galaxy, a galaxy of maybe a hundred billion stars. So how many stars are you looking at? Trillions, wow. trillions of stars with trillions of planets. And to assume that we are the only intelligent species in the universe, I think is an exaggeration. What else do you expect that they will reveal and even perhaps confirm? Well, we expect to get photographs of exoplanets. Realize that we've discovered about 5,000 planets going around other stars, but we very rarely ever have a photograph of them. The Webb Space Telescope is so powerful that it may be able to give us pictures of these distant planets and maybe even tell us whether they have an atmosphere, whether they have oxygen, whether they have oceans, and whether or not they have conditions that are compatible with life as we know it. Thank you.